For the second part of your plumbing activity, you guys are going to replace your faucet. Um, this is very similar, whether it's a kitchen faucet, bathroom faucet, uh, laundry room faucet, they all work pretty much the same. Um, although the details underneath might be a little bit uh, different for each. So this isn't something you wanna just jump into without having any idea of what it entails. So the exercise today is just kind of a general rule of thumb um, about if one of these gets outdated or broke, if it, it, it leaks, how you would even start to replace it. Um, but there's, the general steps for all of them are the same. So your first step is to, of course, make sure your sink would be turned off. You don't want the water running out. Once you have your water turned off up above, it's usually a good idea that you know, a plumber or somebody doing this would have towels laid out or a bucket underneath to collect any water because you got to remember there is constantly water inside these hoses. So the second we disconnect them, uh, water would drip out if this was a real sink. Now this is a test sink. There's not actually water coming through this. So nothing's going to come out. But underneath, you'll see these valves right here, these knobs. This is called your shutoff valve. These metal lines will be your supply lines. So behind your wall, these valves are connected to pipes. Those pipes have your water in it and that water is constantly in the pipes. It doesn't drain uh, without a whole lot of extra steps. So you don't normally drain those. So they are constantly filled with water that's under pressure and wants to spray out. These shutoff valves, if we were to replace these, you need to make sure that is turned off. So I'm gonna twist it to the right or clockwise. I'm also going to do that with the valve on the other side. I'm gonna twist it to turn it off. So now that there's water still in the pipes behind the wall, but it's not gonna be coming through these shutoff valves anymore. So now when I disconnect these hoses, if this were a real sink, water would fall out of these hoses that is currently in it, but there's no new water coming through those shutoff valves. So once I have the water turned off, I'm ready to disconnect uh, my sink lines. Okay, so I have them turned off. Now, normally what you would do underneath is you would, it would require a wrench uh, to remove these. But since it's a test sink, ours are just able to twist off by hand, but I'm just going to disconnect from that valve. I'm also going to disconnect from my other valve. So now I have two hoses that are kind of hanging uh, from the sink faucet from underneath. I'm gonna do the same thing under here. So underneath the sink, there's also two uh, hose ends that are connected to the valves. We're also going to unscrew those. So now we have our hoses disconnected from the faucet. The reason I'm just taking them all the way off, because if you were doing something like this at home for a real, uh, getting a new sink or getting a new faucet, it's very possible that you're going to need new hoses, different lengths, different sizes. So you probably just well take them both off now because you're most likely gonna have to take them off later. Uh, the next step, Underneath the sink, there's these little black threaded washer. By hand, you're going to be able to unscrew those. Once you have these washers off, your faucet is gonna be loose and free. Once your faucet is free from the washers underneath, you're able to pull it out. Now, there is this black gasket underneath it. Uh, what this does, faucets have these underneath just to keep any leaks that as you wash your dishes, if, as water and soap comes up, this little gasket helps water helps keep water from going through those holes. 
Okay, so now that you have it apart, we're gonna go ahead and use our imaginations, pretend we went to Ace Hardware, Menards, wherever you do your home maintenance shopping. Boom. You got a new faucet. Uh, let's just say your old one is leaking and you really needed a new one because your water bill is crazy high, but you really like the way it looks. So you just got one exactly the same. So lucky you, it's going to go back together the same way it came apart, just in opposite steps. So what you're gonna do, start by making sure the gasket is in place, putting your faucet through the holes. You're going to secure the faucet by putting the washers underneath. After you have your faucet connected with the washers, you'll reconnect your hoses. One goes under the faucet, one end to the supply line. And then once you have everything hooked up, you will turn the water back on. And you have just replaced a kitchen faucet. Congratulations.